हेलो एवरीवन मैं सिर्फ डॉक्टर शरद गिरामकर वर्किंग इन पीडीएस अन्ना साहिब मगर महाविद्यालय हडपसर पुणे इंडिया इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन मॉक पार्ट्स इन इंसेक्ट्स एज वी नो दैट इंसेक्ट्स आर मॉडिफाइड इन वेरियस हैबिटेट इट मे बी ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ द मॉक पार्ट्स दीस मॉक पार्ट्स आर सेट इज पियर्सिंग एंड सकिंग टाइप ऑफ मॉक पार्ट्स मैंडिबुलर टाइप ऑफ द मॉक पार्ट्स अलोंग विद You can say it is a chewing and lipping type of mouth parts. So number of mouth type of the mouth parts are there. In this video, I will explain these three type of the mouth parts. Dear friends, if you are new in, with my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like this video, please press like button and share this video to your friends. Dear friends, first of all, we discuss about the mandible type of the mouth parts. This one is the mandible type of mouth part. For example, cockroach. It is a primitive type of mouth part. Present in case of the cockroach, consists of following parts. So it is a labrum, mandible, along with maxillae, along with labia, and hypopharynx and epipharynx. Labrum is also we'll discuss one by one. Labrum is also called as a upper lip, consists of clypeus at its base. Clypeus consists of sensory structure. Called as a gustatory structure, which help in tasting the food material. Then mandibles. These are the triangular structure consist of the serrated margin. That serrated margin helps in the mastication of the food material. Along with it consist of the strong adductor and abductor muscles. So they are total. So it is the mandibles are used for the mastication. Maxillae. Maxillae consist of main two basal plates. Called as a cordo and stipe. Corda is attached to the head plate and stipe is attached over the cordo. Cord, so it is a stipe wears five segmented structure called as a maxillary pulp. Along with it consists of, so it is a pin-like structure. So it is a forcep-like structure called as a lacinia and calia, which pick up the food material during feeding. So maxillae which hold The food material during feeding. Then labium, can say it is a lower lip. Lower lip consists of the two major parts. Say it is a postmentum and prementum. Postmentum is a basal plate. Prementum attach over the postmentum. Prementum be a three-segmented structure called as a labial pulp. Along with at the inner side of the labial pulp, there is a presence of two structures called as a say it is a glossy and another structure. Called as a pharyngeus. Along with, at the in the mouth part, there is the presence of the hypopharynx. Hypopharynx is a tongue-like structure present in case of the mouth. Along with, it consists of the epipharynx. Epipharynx present at the base of the labrum, which also important for the tasting the food material. Dear friends, next part is the piercing and sucking mouth parts. These are the mouth parts present in case of the mosquito. In case of the mosquito, for example, this is the structure of Culex mosquito. This one, these are the modification in the mosquito. Or power power parts of the mosquito, we we'll discuss one by one. I will discuss this only modified part in case of the mouth part. For example, first one, so it is a labium. Labium, because it is a outermost structure present in case of the mouth part. All these are the so these are the mouth parts combined together to form the. Channel like structure. This one is the TS passing through the mouth part to form channels called as the proboscis or the food channel is present at the inner side. Second structure called as the labrum along with the epipharynx. So that labrum and epipharynx form a outermost covering at the top of the proboscis and along with there is the presence of the <coughs> hypopharynx which is present at the base of the food channel. Hypopharynx bears tongue. At the base of the tongue, there is a presence of the opening of the salivary gland. Then mandibles are also supporting. These are the strong mandibles. Spear shape, spear shape is a pin shaped structures are present. All these are combined together to form a pin like structure called as a proboscis. So, so that the proboscis enter into the body of, say it is a host. Along with it consists of the first, say it is a maxillae. First maxillae consists of the well developed gallery. That gallery also pinnate structures, pin-like structures, which also support a good, which also give the good grip to the proboscis, 
and all the structure combine together to form the phenyl structure. Last portion is nothing but set is a chewing type of mouth part, chewing and lapping type of mouth parts. These mouth parts are present in case of the honeybees. This one is the these are the mouth parts, and this one is the tears passing through the honeybees. Mouth parts of the honeybees. We will discuss one by one. First of all, set is a labrum. In case of the labrum, it is present below the clypeus. Yes, the fleshy epiphyllic pharynx present below the labrum is used for the gustatory organ or the taste the food material. Then the second is the thing, but these are that is the mandibles. Mandibles are present on either side of labrum. They are used for the molting of wax during the preparation of honeycomb. Then the labium. Labium is very developed in case of the uh, mouth set so is a honeybees. In case of the labium, labium consists of corda along with submentum, frementum, stipes. So, so these are the parts present in case of the labium. But very developed structure of labium called as a glossy, which form the outermost covering of the proboscis. And so that glossy it is an elongated structure, also called as a lingula. And at the base of lingula, there is a presence of labellum or the honey spore to pick up the set is a nectar from the flower. Now, in case of that parts, so whole the structure called as a uh, important part. Uh, so there is a presence of the one another important part called as a maxillolabial structure. That maxillolabial structure is formed by the very developed gallia, which form the outermost covering of the proboscis along with there is a presence of the labial pulp which support the proboscis. Thus, total proboscis which form and at the base of the proboscis there is a presence of the tongue which act as a fish tongue to suck the polar gas. These are the things present in case of the mouth parts of honeybees to form the food channel and that food channel become the polar gas. Thank you. Thank you.